To your left uh, is the frontal chest ringogram of a, an 18-year-old uh, woman who had uh, progressive dyspnea, dyspnea that started early in life. Uh, uh, some of her uh, parents uh, uh, also had uh, a pulmonary condition uh, such as this one, as well as uh, uh, cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, note uh, the flattening of the uh, diaphragm, uh, the small size of the heart, uh, uh, the paucity of the pulmonary vasculature, that is uh, diffuse uh, oligemia. To your right is a pulmonary angiogram, which shows uh, that the vessels of the upper lobes uh, were patent, uh, although the plain radiograph uh, suggested uh, absence of uh, pulmonary vasculature, uh, the pulmonary vessels uh, were patent, uh, and this could also be demonstrated by CT. And note uh, the predominance uh, of the emphysema in the lower half uh, of the two lungs. Uh, when this uh, happens, uh, one has to suspect uh, the presence of alpha-1 antitrypsin globulin, de globulin deficiency emphysema. These uh, patients uh, are placed on prophylactic antibiotic therapy because uh, any infection that would occur by the accumulation of granulocytes, uh, they release uh, tryptin trypsin, which will digest the lung parenchyma and will worsen the emphysema. That's why the uh, emphysema uh, tends uh, to predominate uh, in the lower zones uh, of the lung.